Yeah, she got some power again with that spark plug back and running on all six again. Where's this orange one from? It's from another piece of junk laying around somewhere. He's a road run again. Whoa! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am out at our farm, so I mentioned that in one of my other videos, so I don't know if I'm going to give you a tour or not today, but we'll do that at some point. But I actually came out here with a purpose, and I'm not working on my green truck, I'm not working on my burgundy truck, but I've actually got a, a 97 uh, two-wheel drive, 4.3 liter, white GMC two-wheel drive. It's been sitting kind of dormant for... <laughs> A little while here so it, it needs a little bit of TLC to get it going and I want to see if we can it just snowed recently you could see the snow outside's everywhere I'm just wondering if we can get it going and maybe go for a rip somewhere could be fun maybe we won't even start but anyway we'll see what it got okay so what I think is wrong with the old uh, 4.3 liter is this right here uh, there's a coil pack on here and a bracket and then this little computer box which not surprisingly, GM in the 90s felt it was really important to put electronics right above the motor where they melt, and so that's what this little box is. And I was chatting with a fellow a couple of months ago, and, and he told me he had the same truck, and he said, yeah, he's like, it's just that little computer box up there that gets all burnt out, and he said it'll spin and spin. You think spark, not getting any spark or fuel, but it ends up being just that little computer box there. So we're going to try that out. This thing is about 40 bucks, probably too much money for what that truck's worth, but uh, truck's not worth anything if it's not running so hopefully this helps try it out so that is the uh the white 90 hf 97 chef this one's actually on the it's got a really high quality grill going on there here's there it goes but uh i mean she's in good shape you know like she's she's, she's super ready to go That's, uh, Stuck running around here, but oh, shot. Woo! I mean, she's, she's ripe in here, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. This is the last kind oh, of keys in here, that's good. This is such a fun little truck. I mean, she's she's beat, she's beat bad. It's got uh, I don't know if you can see it there or not, it says 575,000 kilometers on it, so original motor. Original trans, as far as I'm confident enough. I don't know if that's good. Okay. There you go. Looks like there's an air now. Movement of tailgate on it. She's she's solid. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find a battery. Battery, battery, battery. Oh look, I found one, and it's on the charger already. Oh, pull on nice. Ah! Woo! Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good thing I didn't come here in the summertime. Anybody steal my uh, coolant? No, it's still in there. What the oil? Well, I think I think it needs an oil change, but I mean it's got oil, so back in there. Get back. Get there. Keys. Get in there. Yeah, I had a power steering line to blow, and apparently it's. I mean it's. Well, rust preserved right here, just because of that power steering line blowing. Very little, very little power steering fluid. But I think, I think that's a new hose on. Maybe I fixed that. Anyway, what we're going to be working on here is right behind this box here. That comes off easier or not, but the coil pack. And we're going to take the coil pack. We swap it with that new one. Let's see if it just boom or not. So. I know I've complained about it before, but man, I hate GM side post battery cables. Maybe she's time to go to the old auto heaven in the sky. One or the other. Let's go. Why do you have a battery and a charger? So you can see I got the. Uh, the battery cable on there, I got about 16 flipping extension cords back to the yard to get power. But I think we're just gonna, I mean I don't think it's gonna start, but we may as well just crank on her and 
see what uh, see what transpires. I think. I hardly believe it. I guess it just fired right up. I think she's missing a little bit there, but but like I mean, whatever. Huh? She doesn't really want to move right now, but I think she, I think she just froze down. Froze down. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try and bust her loose, I guess. And uh, oh, I got a great idea. Little white girl sound better already. She calmed right down in the, in the misfire. Nice. So what I got going on here? I got a little uh, safety lighter meter here. This thing is junk, by the way, so not a big deal, but I'm just gonna hook her up and give her a little tug. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, the brakes are a little sketchy on this unit here, but... Oh, oh! Well, it's just finished now. Finish now. That's okay. Hang there. Let's go for a little... A little drive. I mean, what a unit. How the kind of vehicle can you leave parked for, like, months? Oh, wipers don't work. Oh, well. A couple years like that, you know? And she's full load. She's full load. Oh. It rotates, man. You like can't literally see nothing. Oh, oh she got no power steering. No power steering. So we do a little. I don't know if we'll get it up the hill here or not. Not much of it. There's a cinder block there. Oh boy. Oh, she's she's coming around. You know, she's coming around. Oh, frick. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I hope there's no more cinder blocks out here. We legitimately can't see much here. So. Whee! Yeah, she really needs some power steering fluid. I don't think a pump's gonna make it either. I'm making a mess of the field. I'm making a mess of the field. Just the exhaust rattling, that's no big deal. Oh, the tires are still up. Hey, she's low. Hey, she's low. More stuff back here than I thought we should be. But... Yep. So you're asking me, why why are you fixing this truck? Well, again. It's not doing anything anyway so we might as well get it running and it will be a good garbage going picking up truck or it will be a uh, good, I mean it might even be a good going down truck yet you know it's possible 
Boy, does it stink in here. You know, it's kind of crazy that this truck even fired up here, but it runs actually pretty decent. Other than it's, yeah, you see down here, maybe you can't see, you probably can't see. I'm going to turn the light on. I think that's on. I'm missing a spark plug wire, so I might be able to go rig that off something else. It's definitely why she's missing. But I got to put, I guess, a power steering line. I see the new one sitting in the cab. This isn't the new one. This is just pop. And then we're going to swap over the little module. GM truck. I've got other videos on this so you can check that out. But basically, uh, there's two little, you can see that there, two little o rings that sit right on the end of your um, the hose itself, the line. And yeah, you stick that on there. It's kind of beveled on the top here, so once the o ring sits on there, it can't pull off. And then you just got to make sure the o ring comes out on the other side. So I've only got like a splash of power steering fluid left here. Oh, I'm gonna get caught on that. Nope, that'll be nice. Dipper sticker back on there. Oh. He's a rolling again. Whoa. Whoa, baby. Got some power steering. I think that bump's kind of damaged. Oh, she runs good. They're on total private roads, just so everybody knows. Whee! Apparently my, uh, I was like, what's banging on the side of the truck? And <laughs> it was that. So anyway, yeah, got the, got the field kind of worked up there a little bit. Super cool antenna on it. That's my 97 Jam, GMC, whatever it is. In front it's a GMC, but inside here, she Chevrolet all the way. So anyway. 
don't know what we're going to do with this truck. I don't really care what we do with this truck, but it's been sitting around and I've been trying to figure out if we're going to fix it or not. And the whole deal, right? They don't like to do you fix junk or do you just let junk go or maybe she can just fall apart and be done with it. But I think, I think we get a few miles out of it yet. Seems to be running really awesome, which is a plus. Yeah, something that was not expecting. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, let me know what you think about this truck. Is this thing kind of fun or should a guy just chuck it or, you know, should we put a turbo on it? I don't know.